Hello, hope you're all well and enjoying the lovely sunny weather that we've had this week. This is just a quick video um, to give you a little update about what we've been up to this week uh, and a couple of musical offerings um, a little bit later on in this video for you to enjoy. Um, and it's also going to give you a little teaser of what we've got planned for mid-July that we're, we're really excited about and um, that we're going to be dropping some hints um, as the weeks go on um, to exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, it's going to be a, a really exciting uh, project, uh, lots of things to be doing, we're, we're deep into it now and it's going to be involving 21 musicians who are based all across the country. So 21 musicians from uh, Ibarak and Baroque, so singers and instrumentalists. Um, we've got uh, instrumentalists based in, in Edinburgh, we've got singers based in Tunbridge Wells uh, and everywhere in between. So we're really excited about this project. Um, and there'll be a little hint of what might be included um, as part of one of the musical offerings later in this video. As our performers are all based across the UK, um, they've sent in some pictures this week um, telling us, telling me what they've been up to. Um, so first we have Lottie, who's one of the sopranos from Ibarakum and has been uh, putting her DIY skills to good use, as you can see, with some fence painting. And Lottie will be one of the featured singers um, in the project in July that I've, I've hinted at. Um, another of our singers, founder member, uh, Naomi Sturgis, um, has been hatching some chicks in Suffolk. So um, looking very cute there, the chicks, as you can see. And then finally for this week, um, we'll have more to come. Uh, so you can see a little insight into what musicians are doing uh, at this time. One of our other singers, uh, alto Alex Osborne, has been doing some delicious cooking, as you can see there. Um, looks absolutely fantastic. Look out for more of those in the weeks ahead, um, so you can see a little bit of an insight into what some of um, the musicians of Eber Ackenbrock are up to um, in these funny times. Um, our first musical offering then for today is a taste of what to expect next Friday, next Friday um, at 1pm, when we continue with our Spotlight concert series, um, but this time focusing on the String family. So you can go back and have a check if you like and, and watch the ones we've had already. We've had the Baroque Oboe, the Recorder, and then last Friday we had the Baroque trumpet, um, but now it's the turn of the Baroque strings. And we've got Kirsty and Miri, um, who you may have seen in some of the virtual concerts we've been doing already, who are going to be telling you all about um, the Baroque string instruments and, and, you know, showing you a little bit how they're different to what you would usually expect modern string instruments to look like. And our violinist Kirsty, um, who I mentioned is going to be leading the, the Spotlight concert with Miri next week, um, has, with technology, put together a little bit of ramo for us um, with the help of technology. And here she is in Edinburgh performing for us now. So this week would have been a, a very big week for Ibarak and Baroque. Um, we pride ourselves on doing lots of education work. It's a, it's a big, big part of our, our yearly output, going into lots of schools um, and, and leading our, our workshops that we do. A big one that we've been doing for the past couple of years um, is focused all on Vivaldi's Four Seasons. And uh, I get to dress up as Vivaldi, which is always great fun, and, and the children enjoy that. And we take the, um, the recorder version. So Miriam, um, who you've seen popping up a lot over the last few weeks, um, plays the amazing recorded version of, of the Vivaldi's Four Seasons, um, along with um, Seb, who would have been with us this week on, on the harpsichord. And we were due to be working with the National Centre for Early Music um, up in York, um, visiting lots of schools in Yorkshire and East Yorkshire, um, delivering these projects, delivering the, the Vivaldi project. So we're really looking forward to that. And of course, it's a, it's a great shame that with the current circumstances, we're not able to do it. Um, but we've been trying to, to kind of get a little bit of education out um, at this time and we're still working on again some some virtual plans um, that we hope we can use going forward including going into schools when schools are, are back 
um, working again. Um, but we've started a little project this week that we're really trying to get lots and lots of people to, to sign up for and, and have a go at. And you'll see that on the screen now. It's a, a create your own nature name um, using things that you can find in your back garden, as you'll see there. So we did a Vivaldi one, but do send in yours um, with your name and design as you like, inspired I guess by Vivaldi's Four Seasons and all the wonderful things in, um, that we hear in that, the, the, the singing of the birds and uh, maybe not the thunderstorm in, in summer. Um, so that's where we would have been this week. It's a great shame we're not, but uh, hopefully we'll be back there in, in 2021, fingers crossed, to, to carry on um, with our education workshops. Um, to whet your appetite uh, for this big project that I've been talking about uh, in July, we're going to have one final musical offering today um, from the Ibrahim Archives, a performance of, of O Ruddier Than the Cherry, um, sung by John Holland Avery, and that piece of course is from Handel's Aces and Galatea. This version, or this performance I should say, was performed live um, at the Stamford Georgian Festival back in, in September 2019. Uh, and a really wonderful place to go and a wonderful festival to play in. Um, it was a beautiful sunny day in September. Um, Stanford, of course, if, if you've been, is a beautiful Georgian town. Um, a full audience in, in the wonderful St Martin's Church and we gave a, a vast array of, of, of pieces from, from the Georgian period, mainly lots of Handel, but also some lesser known composers like San Martini and Boyce. Um, but the piece you're going to hear is Handel. Again, that's another little hint. At Ibrahim, of course, we love Handel. Um, we've done some of his major oratorios, of course, Messiah, countless times, uh, Semele and Samson as well last summer. Um, but a piece that's kind of been with us the, the whole journey, really, over these last eight years that we've been, been going as a group is Aces and Galatea. Certainly up there with, with one of my favourite pieces of Handel. Um, and what makes it even more remarkable, written in 1718 and... Um, was the first big dramatic work that Handel um, wrote music for in English, so set, set the text to, um, to music, but it was English text. Um, and he did a pretty amazing job, didn't he, for the first time. Um, and it, it was just after a few years he'd been in London, so it was in 1718, and it was for the Duke of Chandos at Canons, and really chamber-like approach, so it wouldn't have been in like a huge opera house that, that we might expect today. Um, five singers, very small orchestra, um, including recorders. You're going to see some record, uh, recorder featured in a moment in this piece, um, and a, a really good storyline as well, um, with some with some excellent characters to, to set music to. Um, so we're going to hear the uh, aria that Polyphemus sings, O ruddier than the cherry, um, O sweeter than the berry, which is kind of like um, his love song wooing. Uh, the semi-divine nymph Galatea, who of course is in love with, with Asis, um, which is not going to end too well when Polyphemus doesn't get his way. Um, and this is a little hint for what's to come. So a wonderful little piece of, of handle to finish our little concert today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of an insight into what we get up to and uh, what we've got planned. So keep an eye out um, over the next few weeks as we tell you a little bit more about this project to look out for. Yes, 
Right and poor, try life like kids, try and marry. 